Hi there, my name is Richard Sharp. I'm a uh, public health practitioner at Cornwall Council. Uh, one of my areas of work is looking at, at uh, people's mental wellbeing. And we thought at this time of need and um, increasing media about coronavirus or COVID-19, that it's really important to take the time and think about your own mental wellbeing, but also others around you, your friends and family and those uh, living in the community. Um, and there's some, a lot of things you can do to help uh, protect your mental wellbeing. And that includes the five ways of mental wellbeing. And these are, Point one, so the first part of mental wellbeing is to connect with people. So think about your friends and family, other people in the community you might not even know, and think about how you connect with them and, and um, start up new conversations or develop new friendships. And think about how you can link together, um, uh, whether you're at home, self-isolating, or if you're working from a remote location, for example. Point two, so another important part is to be active. Uh, think about the things you can do to um, take part in some kind of physical activity, whether it's in your home or, or in the actual environment, get out and about and do something like walking, whether it's running, or even at home if you're unable to do sort of more physical activity, do something around strength and, and balance techniques that may help uh, to improve your mental wellbeing. If you want further information, there's our Healthy Cornwall website, from Cornwall Council, and there's some YouTube in there where you can look at different activities and ex exercises within, within your own home. So point three is about keep learning, do something interesting, something you want to develop or a new hobby, um, thinking about um, how you can start up a new group, whether it's photography, painting, or even something simple like reading at home. Um, this can help develop new friendships, get out and about and meet others, for example. And this applies if you're self-isolating, you have to go out face to face, but you can also do something online, or whether it's picking up a telephone and talking about your hobbies with somebody else, for example. Point four, uh, this is about giving, giving to others. So think about yourself, your friends and family, but also others in the community you don't know, and think about how you can help support them if they're at home or whether they're self-isolating, um, and think about different activities, whether it's volunteering, helping them with their shopping, for example, or connect to others. And that's a really important aspect of their mental well-being. Lastly, the fifth part of uh, maintaining your mental well-being is about um, taking notice, being mindful about your surrounding environment. This applies to you, whether you're in your own home, um, but also in your outside natural environment, whether you're living in the countryside or in a, in a built environment. Lastly, uh, while it's important to keep factual and up to date with the latest news and updates of coronavirus, it's also important to think about um, overburdening yourself with new information about coronavirus. Um, so it's important to, to look at key sources of information. So you can either look at Public Health England's uh, website, so search for coronavirus, or look at Cornwall Council websites. We have a dedicated web page where you can search for coronavirus, and this will give you the latest information where you can go and find help and support.